good first. Hey guys, welcome to Road to the Show by Professor Man Gaming. Thanks for watching another episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Hey guys, welcome back to a, uh, another episode of MLB Road to the Show. Coach offers guidance to a developing player. So the coach uh, tells us that we can uh, get out of less trouble if we get ahead of the ca uh, the hitters in an early count. So let's hope that's uh, what we can start doing. Uh, so we're going to go to get some training. And we're going to uh, work with some players. We're going to develop our heart and soul to get to level 2 to get some perks from that one. And also get... Um, some familiarity with some players in our club. So again, again, developing the heart and soul, we're now up to level two of heart and soul, so we can get those perks later. I think we uh, are within that 30 days of uh, changing our perks the last time, so. We won't be able to change it for a while. So um, we're still sitting at 1 0 with 14 innings pitch, 16 strikeouts, and a 0.64 ERA. Minor League Baseball is live and on the and air now, on the show. Yo, Tonight, the opener of a three game Hector. series between the Hartford. Hartford. Sam Allen, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. Into the, the box now, tonight. Carlos Barrios. He'll get us started Carlos. in this one under the lights. Rodrigo. First pitch of the inning is taken oh, low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and Fellas, you take a look at our homestanding ball club as they come into this one tonight. They have certainly had it going lately. Winners of eight in a row. I'm super excited, Matty, to watch this team play today because it's rare. You don't see many teams rattle off eight wins in a row like they have. It's all working for them right now, and I'm super excited to watch them take the field today. Count is one and two now. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. So we're not really hitting our spots within these. Again, just like those little chains going on the outside. Ken Coggin will be next. I'm the uh, chase one inside. He still fouled it off. Hit on the ground out to short. Pinto over to his left, and that's the first down. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Dero, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Well, Maddie, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods. Just young guys, yeah. hungry, aggressive, yeah. trying to do damage and move track. Hang a slider over. And looks like he's going to get a double here. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their So one out, gave up a double. Not very good to start off this inning, start off this game. One of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. See, we're missing our spots. Um... A lot of these pitches, as you can tell with um, the title here, inconsistencies, it's, what, it's what's going on with us right now. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So we have Welch's number. Um, I think we've struck him out like three different times in two games. You can really force hitters to expand their zone of protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. So we have a dynamic challenge here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. One and one. 
Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard so we're still missing our spots after that first opening strike. Again, the swing, a high fastball. And then we just give up a run. An RBI single with two outs in the first inning. That's not what we need to do. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, D Road. Big, big, and I mean big, two hard RBI Over. single. Yeah, way to come through Over. for your team when you take the donut off. Your and then we give him the pop out so we can get out of the inning with only giving up one run. Made here to end the inning. So digging in now, Jared Nance. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. We're still going through 18 pitches in that first inning, so it's not bad. There's no way that misses. That is in in the strike zone. Sorry for my complaining, but I hate when um, we decrease the zone by a lot because that was a full ball inside the strike zone. Waves and misses for strike number two. At this point, if I was there, I wouldn't even swing in any of these pitches after that first call. And a good bite to that but we make it forward by striking him out. out Get our second strike out of the day. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Chad Bennett, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. One and oh, the count. And he won't this is several change outside. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Again, be swing on two straight fastballs. Let's see what we can do with this pitch here. And we miss it inside. As you can tell with our title, inconsistencies is the name of the game for this episode because, as you can see, after first, the first two innings, we are being very inconsistent. So we just got our third strikeout. Coming to the plate now, Cecil Monticelli. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Cecil Monticelli. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tommy just ramps up and hears the fastball by him. 0 oh 2. Yeah, Maddie, not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting it one level one. up with a quality fastball. So, good thing our first race we covered because we were really late on that one. Inning is over. Pretty painless half of the. In. So we finally score a run, so now it's tied to 1-1, so hopefully we can get this inning unscathed as well. And he finds a way to catch the zone here, it's 1-2. And we got him with that slider up in the zone. Get our fourth strike out of the day. And again, another pitch that's in the zone that they call a ball. Get him to pop up to the center fielder. We got our second out, which is beneficial because if that was in the gap again, I don't know if we would have survived it. Coming to the plate now, Ken Coggin. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a looper to left. Hang up a change up. Deal up a two out single. 
We're pitching well with four strikeouts, but we're giving up all these hits. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning, then you give up that two-out base hit. Now you have the middle part of the order coming up, and this is where you have to really refocus on that mound, stay out of a potential base. And then we give up another hit. Get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two aboard now. You know, your offense just throws a number up on the board for you. The last thing you want to do is go out there. So we're trying to end the inning without a run score. He was able to get those first two outs so quick, but now with a hit and a single, he finds himself in a little bit of trouble. The guy who's got hit off us as well, so we said we had his number. Looks like uh, he got ours at that bat. That a bat. A ball and a strike. The set and the one one can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike. So right good here. backdoor slider to get him to swing on it. And it's fouled away. Coggin at second. Welch on at first with two down. This one misses and that slider was again in the strike zone for the third pitch that we didn't get. Put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. He sent the three two on the eighth. We got him with a fastball. Strike him out. Still tied one one. Top of the fourth inning. We're sitting at 52 pitches. Not really good for where we're wanting to be. At the knees, strike one. Perez, just 24 years of age, plays catcher most of the time, but they've got him on the hot corner today. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he misses there, one and two. Lays off two and two now. So two pitches we've missed bad. Grounded down the third baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses. We finally get him to strike out with the fastball. Getting our fifth strike out of the game. Stepping in, Jared Nance. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Just missed that one. Bases are empty. One man out. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Got on the pop out. He got 200 or would have been gone. Number two. Now to the plate, Chad Bennett. Now batting. First pitch That's coming, here it is. Chad Bennett. Here right. mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial... Got another strike. Behind 0-2 now. 295 fastballs. Now here's the pitch. And, and got him to strike out with that slaughter. Oh, right. Our seventh strike out of the game. Into the box, Cecil Monticelli. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back. So we're up two one in the top of the in the top of the fifth. Starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and quite frankly dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Gave up a no out single to start the inning. Our whip is really increasing after this game. Wow. Couldn't catch a changeup. Got him swinging in the dirt. Up with it, Ibar, and the throw is there to record. 
Well, at least got him out, but now he's at third. Settling in now, Carlos Barrios, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And they start him out away with a cold strike. And it's one and one. You just Money missed that one. Stands at third with one gun in the inning. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. 93 mile an hour fastball. We're getting a little tired. Struck him out and he becomes we're going to throw 94. So we get a ninth strike out of the game. Of the he was definitely pitching for it with a run on so now a sack fly can't, can't uh, beat hurt us. Or something like a wild oh, pitch to get that guy home. Just like that. So now we get out of the inning. Thank goodness. So a great job there of working Your out. David please. Paulino will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the guy. So we get out of the inning. Now they pull us in the sixth. And then we end up losing the game. They score three runs on the top of the night to win five to four. We have five innings pitched, five hits given, nine strikeouts, one earned run. Not that bad. Too many hits, I think. Less than one whip is what I really, really like, especially around a .5. Um, most innings we did really, really well, except for that first inning, we threw six balls to 12 strikes. But we can't really do much with else, else with that. So our control is going up on a lot of our pitches. As you can see, so letting us know about six years of service time before we can get become free a free agent and a pitcher being called up to the majors. Looking at our um, tree here, again we can't really change anything because of. Uh, it's not been 30 days, but probably after the next couple starts, we'll be able to uh, add some more things, especially with the heart and soul, especially with expanding the zone. So I um, hope you enjoy. Uh, make sure you tune back so you can uh, watch some more Road to the Show. Thank you.